Hey everybody, Jamie here, and this whole month I'm going to be giving you one costume idea after the next in order to get you ready for Halloween. Today's focus is for any costume that needs wings, whether you want to go as a fairy, a bee, an angel, or even a soaring My Little Pony, I've got you covered. Get ready as I show you how to make your own wire wings. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so in order to make your own wire wings, you'll need scissors, pliers, wire cutters, two sets of sheer tights, connectors from small wire to ribbon to duct tape to string of any kind, ribbon, any width and color, craft glue, and decorators from sequins to paint to glitter. You'll also need four wire hangers. I've got a bunch left over from all the times I've been to the dry cleaners. If you have thick crafting wire, like 12 to 16 gauge, feel free to use that instead here too. All right, let's wing it. Well, not literally, because I'm going to be giving you step-by-step -step instructions, but you know what I mean. Anywho, step one. The first step is to straighten your hangers. Unwrap the top of your hanger and bend it apart so that it forms a long piece of wire. Use your pliers to get rid of any bends, bumps, and kinks. Do this with all four hangers. Once your hangers have been straightened, the next step is to bend two of them into the top of your wings. Yeah, I know, straighten them in order to bend them again. We're getting crazy up in here. Start by forming a teardrop bend in your wire. Lock in the design by twisting the base wires around themselves a few times, leaving an inch or two of wire sticking out at the end. From here, it's totally up to you on how you want to design your wing. You can keep the teardrop shape, or make a bend in the center to create a heart shape, or be like me and make two bends to create three curves total. Repeat the same steps on a second hanger so that you have two identical top wings. Step three. Now is the time to create your two bottom wings. Follow the same process from step two in order to form whatever shape of wing you like. I folded my wire into a teardrop shape, twisted the wire to lock the shape in place, and then added one bend in the wire for two curves total. Whatever design you choose, repeat the same process to make two identical bottom wings. Once you've got four wings ready and set, it's time to go ahead and connect them all together. Start by overlapping the wire excess of one top wing with the excess of the other top wing. Wrap any connector around these wires as many times as it takes until they're locked in place. Then overlap the wire excess of both of your bottom wings, again wrapping the wire with your connectors until until they're locked in place. When finished, line up your top and bottom wings and bind them together with more connecting material. If you find any additional wire sticking out, bend it into the wire of your wing and bind them together for a smooth, uniform look. Keep going until your wings are firmly attached and all stray wires have been covered. Honestly, you can attach a top and bottom wing together first before connecting them to the other top and bottom wing, or you can attach all four wings together at once. It's whatever is easiest for you to get those wires securely set. Step five, now that the skeleton of your wings is complete, let's add the wing flesh. Ooh, that sounded creepy, even for a Halloween costume. Let's add the wing meat? Body of the wing, there we go, rewind. Now that the skeleton of your wings is complete, let's add in the body of the wing using your tights. Cut the tights at the top of each leg so that you have four separate leggings. Take one legging and pull it over any of your wings, stretching it tightly from one end to the other. Once it's to your desired look, cut away any excess material and then separate the open end of your tights into two strands. Tie a double knot around the center where all your wing pieces connect. Repeat this step with your remaining three leggings around the rest of your three wings. As you work, make sure not to pull your leggings so tightly that you accidentally put a bend in your wire or rip the tights. Now your wings are looking good, but all the messy knots you just made with your tights plus all the connecting material you used to bind your wire together isn't the prettiest look, so let's cover it all up. Take a piece of ribbon and wrap it around the center of your wings until all your rough spots have been covered. Step seven, in order to actually wear these things, let's add straps. Wind any type of ribbon about three feet long around the center of your wings before tying it into a knot. Repeat with a second piece of ribbon making sure the knots are on the side that will touch your back. This way, when you want to wear your wings, bring one ribbon end over your shoulder and the other underneath your armpit, pulling tight until the wings fit comfortably against your back. Then tie the ribbon ends together to lock everything in place. Step eight. The final step is to decorate your wings any which way you like. With my purple paint, I outlined a thin border around my wings, making a thicker coat along the edges of the curves. Then with silver paint, I created a thin oval in each wing center before for applying glue and glitter for a shimmering look. I finished my design by painting in purple veins to add texture to the wing. Finally, I glued on a handful of matching sequins all
all over my wings for a sparkling effect. And here's what they look like when finished. If you like, you can top everything off by attaching a flower or bow to the center of the wings. And there you go, your wire wings are complete. If all you have is plain colored tights, no worries, you could just spray paint or dip dye your wings in anything from a solid color to an ombre or rainbow pattern. You could also decoupage on layers of fabric for a hipster fairy, or you could stick in feathers from bottom to top to create an angel look too. And this is as big as your wing can get using one wire hanger. So if you want your wings bigger than this, go ahead and bend more than one wire hanger together first, or use your thick crafting wire like I mentioned earlier. With just a few hangers and a couple pair of tights, you now have DIY wings in full swing. I don't know about you, but I think that this costume is pretty fly. Because it's got wings. That can make me blush. What type of wire wings did you make? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or let me know on my fan page on Facebook. If you wanted to make a faster Halloween costume out of wire, click the video on your left to make your own cat ears headband. And click the video on your right to learn how to make a no sew tool tutu that will match perfectly with your wings. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com.